Chair Salinas and thank, uh, members of the committee, thank you for allowing me to testify today. My name is Abby Durant and I am a senior at Grants Pass High School in Grants Pass. I'm here to today to testify in support of House Bill 4078. When I told some of my friends and classmates that I was coming to testify today, I was expecting some kind of joy or congrats because this is a huge honor. I was instead bombarded by questions and skepticism. Why, they asked. One student even told me, this will make a lot of popular students really angry. <laughs> <laughs> that is when I fully realized the power that this piece of legislation has. It's making kids angry because you're treating vaping as what it is, an epidemic. In my American history class in junior year, we spent some time on the story about the rise and then the fall of big tobacco. As the vaping epidemic hits more and more people, the parallels are hard to miss. The tobacco industry made million, not just millions, but billions in profit, mostly from marketing their products as safe. In 1964, the first report was published linking lung cancer to smoking. When I go on YouTube today, I see Juul and other vaping companies marketing their products as safer than nicotine products. Dozens of people have died across the nation as a result of this marketing. It took people years to understand the effects that cigarettes and big tobacco had. It's taken people months with big vape. We cannot wait until this epidemic has taken more lives to take action. But I am not here to convince you that this legislation is vital to teens and young adults across Oregon. I'm here to show you. I can name at least a dozen friends off the top of my head who have utilized this loophole to get vape products. Many kids are given debit or credit cards linked to their parents' accounts as a first step towards adulthood. I have one myself. Parents rarely check these though. They don't check the purchasing history or the receipts. Kids will go on to jewel.com or any other vaping website and use their debit cards to purchase these products. Yet no one is required to sign and you just have to check a box saying that you're the age limit. Um, as you, that you don't have to sign as you do with alcohol. Then they just wash the mail, and when it comes, they put the trash at the bottom of the garbage can. This happens all of the time. This is a pretty regular thing that's happening. Because this sweet smell and the small size of the products, they're really easy to hide and even easier to get away with. That's why this piece of legislation is so important. Let me tell you about my day yesterday. During passing periods between classes, I had to go to the bathroom. I instead walked into a puff of smoke. The smoke didn't leave me smelling like cigarettes or tobacco. I smelled like mint. I blew the smoke away to find three people I've gone to school with since kindergarten vaping. It saddens me that people so close to me have been affected. When my parents asked me about vaping at my high school, I told them this. If I really wanted to get a vaping product, I could. It's really not that hard. Legislation like House Bill 4078 makes this anecdote less and less true. Because teens and young, young adults are addicted, it's hard for them to protect themselves. That's why I traveled here today from Grants Pass to support House Bill 4078. I thank you for utilizing your power and influence to protect my friends and me. Thank you for taking the time to hear me today. Thank you. Do we have questions for this?